Hello, in this video we run through the third of our brief soft tub demonstrations. For this and the remaining videos we're going to move somewhat quicker as by now the basic configuration concept should be familiar. We'll follow the same format going through the process of building the configuration file followed by a live demo just at a quicker pace. Again we'll start with all the objects and rules from the first example but we'll add some alarm logic to illustrate the SoftHub's ability to monitor sensor data for threshold exceptions, as well as its ability to natively generate email and SMS messages. So again, from the first demo, we'll connect to the same two Ant and Bluetooth low energy sensors and forward every packet received to our remote AWS packet capture server. We'll add logic to monitor every packet from the sensor tag sensor to detect when reported light levels go below some acceptable threshold value. When the light level drops below our threshold, we'll send an alarm email indicating there's been an outage. Once the email has been sent, we'll also disable the alarm for the following 15 minutes to ensure that only one alarm email is sent per event. So let's quickly build our new configuration file. We'll start by opening the configuration file from example 1. As you can see, all the original rules and supporting objects are still in place. Before we can use the send email action object, we'll need to configure the email section of the systems options with information detailing the SMTP server connection we'll use to send our emails. First, we'll need to enable emails, then provide a valid SMTP server address import, as well as the login ID and password for an email account we'll use to send our emails from. Note also that the SoftHub only supports email servers providing communication ports secured by TLS encryption. Once that's done, we'll add a state object we'll use to set an exception threshold on the data received from the sensor tag's light sensor. We select the sensor value we're interested in and set our threshold exception value to any value less than or equal to 2. Next, we'll add the send email action object that will actually send the email. We'll give it a recipient address, a from address, a subject, and a text body. Note that while here we're only sending to a single address, multiple email recipients can be targeted as well. Also, SMS messages can be sent by using phone numbers suffixed with proper SMS gateway addresses. Now we'll add a one-shot timer object that we'll use to temporarily disable our threshold checking after an email has been sent. We set the duration for 15 minutes and associate an event to be queued when the timer expires. Now that those objects are in place, we'll create a new rule to be evaluated every time a new sensor tag packet arrives. In this rule, we'll add our state check to check the new packet against our threshold value. If the threshold check returns true, our threshold has been exceeded and we'll execute our action objects. The new action object will actually disable the rule that does the threshold checking. We couldn't create this object previously because the target rule object had not yet been created. So we'll create one last action we'll use to re-enable the rule after the 15 minute timer has expired. Now we'll return to the threshold check rule and add the action object so that when fully executed the rule will disable itself. Now the complete action list will send our email disable further checking, and start a timer to re-enable checking. And finally, the last rule we'll add will be the rule to re-enable the threshold checking rule when our timer expires. And that's it. Our new functionality has been added with just two new rules and a handful of supporting objects. So we'll copy over our configuration file and restart the SoftHub daemon. As new packets arrive, we'll zoom out for the live demo. So again, here we have our Tempe and sensor tag sensors connected to the Raspberry Pi via their Ant and Bluetooth LE radios. The Raspberry Pi is again connected to the router via Wi-Fi and will use that connection to forward all packets it receives to our AWS cloud server. 
It will also use that connection to send our alarm email when the light threshold has been exceeded. And again, the laptop has a remote desktop connection to the AWS Packet Capture Server, which is printing each packet as it arrives. We'll switch over to our demo email account and flip the sensor tag over so its light sensor is face down and not receiving any light. And quickly we get our alarm email. We'll delete that email and flip the light sensor over a few times to illustrate that for now the alarm has been disabled. We've obviously kept this example very basic, but hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can configure threshold-based alarms and use the native email and SMS capabilities of the SoftHub. In the next video, we introduce logging and flagging objects, as well as the ability of the SoftHub to drive and react to GPIO inputs and outputs. Find links to all our demonstration videos and the introduction and configuration manuals for the Omniot SoftHub platform in the video description below. And as always, thanks for watching.